Hi, uh, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the distance ruler. Um, now, the distance ruler is uh, something you, if you don't understand what virtual inputs are, then this would be totally worthless to you. And you would think that it had no meaning at all when it actually has a very, very good area of usage. And for that reason, I must explain what virtual inputs are. Now, a real input is this. I have a gamepad here, and uh, that's a real input. Now, a virtual input is not a real input. It's a input that this um, tool here creates. Now, this distance ruler is a utility belonging to the accessories here, and uh, I will just create one a one D positioner. And for those who haven't seen that tutorial, I will just quickly explain what it does here. Let's take this 1D positioner here and uh, open up the input dialog. Now I have my joystick, as I said, and uh, I can detect, for example, my right thumbstick. I just pull it upwards there and it binds it to it. And uh, if I close well okay let's keep it open there now if i move my thumbstick upwards it will move the 1d positioner forward and backwards like this that's all it does actually and uh, if we want to skip these these uh, delay effects here i just hit the zero which is infinite here and uh, no limit on the speed then it reacts immediately to my to my input here so forward backwards bang bang so um, it, it's just a one one to one relationship between these now if you want a thorough uh, going deeper just look at the tutorial for that one but uh, we're totally uninterested in the 1d positioner here we are interested in why is he blurring about the these virtual inputs. Well, if we would map this manually, you see that we have the keyboard that's always here and I have plugged in the Logitech Dual Action Gamepad. So these two are physical inputs. And now there's a distance ruler 01 here and I don't have an input called the distance ruler. No, that's of course this uh, instance is distance ruler 01. And uh, the thing here is that if I click on this one, I can, uh, just for the sake of it, if, if I hit the Logitech Dual Action here, I can choose one of these uh, inputs here. And uh, last time was the Y axis. And with the distance ruler instead, it can output all of these. Um, well, when I move this red cross here, now red is a color code for something that you can parent or link in 3ds max to something uh, and it would have an effect when you move it around and uh, for this one let's start with a distance value here what would that be well if we open up the distance ruler here we can see that we have something called the current distance and down here you see the tooltips and it says show the distance between the targets well that's target 01, the, uh, the node 1, and this is target number 2, node 2. And if I hit record now, uh, and I pull this one, okay, so we get a negative, uh, ah, yeah, 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 of course, uh, that's because, uh, let's just go in here, that's minus here, let's put that to 1, so it's not inverted and hit record like that and you see if I move this one to be exactly at the first node here then we have a zero output from this one and here you also see the output so the current distance is very small and if I move away from it then it becomes positive again it's just a distance so it can never be negative and the same goes of course in this direction or upwards so it's just the distance from this cross to this cross here and uh, 
what I can do now is to let's see let's put that exactly on this on this line here so I can explain one more thing because now we have something called the maximum distance here and the minimum distance and uh, I will just increase this to uh, say 1 which is this line here so that's distance 1 from this cross here and distance 4 from this cross is 1, 2, 3, let's put it on 3 actually so it's easier to see 3 there and this is distance 3 and we can now see that I will choose another in, uh, virtual input here the distance from min, minimum to maximum now you have to imagine these two maximum and minimum distances as two spheres here so the first sphere uh, is the spheres are always centered around this uh, this green cross now you can imagine that and uh, the first sphere has a radius of one that's a minimum sphere and then you have another sphere which have a radius of three so it's a larger sphere and as soon as this one passes the outer sphere and moves in towards the inner sphere you can have different things being outputted so let's try that in action here because you see in limits distance it says down here is the node 2 position between between max and minimum value so let's just hit record here and you will see what I mean now this one outputs 1 all the time here which is a 1 because I am I have come to the limit of these two spheres uh, so that means that as soon as I come inside of this outer sphere it will become smaller and smaller you see here right there until I reach the inner sphere and that's what is outputted here 1 2 0 so as soon as I come inside of the first sphere it outputs 0 here that's what it what it outputs here now there is another th there are two other things that it outputs here so let's choose the maximum trigger value the maximum trigger value is 1 if it's outside the outer sphere and 1 if it's inside so that's just uh, 1 and 0 bang bang and uh, let's see if that's true it's 1 here right now and as soon as I pass this 3 uh, this sphere of radius 3 uh, it just bang goes back to 0 here as you saw right mm, boom, boom. and if I choose to use the minimum value it's the opposite way around so it's it all depends on how you want to use it so the minimum value here if I move you see it's 0 now instead and as soon as I pass the 1 radius 1 here then bang it becomes 1 so that's just triggering and this triggering functionality is extremely useful in many cases because it just says now you're inside of this sphere and uh, for example I would use it for automatic camera switching for example uh, where I mount these virtual inputs to um, say uh, the uh, the state machine or the multi-state cam that's the last thing I will show you here because I don't have any more time uh, the multi-state cam which is a camera switcher so if we just go into the inputs here I would bind the first one not to the keyboard but to the distance ruler and uh, use the maximum uh, minimum trigger value here on that one and I would increase the minimum sphere value to some value that I would like to trigger this uh, uh, zero one in state zero. Uh, and if I create many of these uh, distance rulers, I can have camera switching around a racetrack, for example, or something. And to understand this with the camera switching, just uh, watch the the tutorial on the multi-state cam, and you will find it fantastic. Uh, you can also use this on, on the state machine, which is a utility, of course. Okay, that's all I have time for. Thank you very much.